This video is going to have a look at hard and soft water. In particular, the types of hardness that you can get in water. It's going to focus on the types, which are temporary and permanent hardness. It's going to focus on how we remove it using an iron exchange column. The first thing to note that there are two different types of hard water. Permanent and temporary. Permanent hardness is caused by dissolved calcium sulfate, amongst other things, in the water. Temporary hardness is caused by calcium hydrogen carbonate in the water. Temporary hardness is removed by boiling. This turns the calcium hydrogen carbonate into calcium carbonate. The calcium carbonate is a precipitate and then can be removed from the solution. So the calcium hydrogen carbonate, when boiled, turns into calcium carbonate, which is a solid, water, which is a liquid, and carbon dioxide, which is a gas, and therefore is easily removed. This takes the form of the lime scale that you see in your kettle. Now, when you try and do the same thing to calcium sulfate, nothing happens. Whenever you boil a sulfate, it will stay soluble, so it will stay in the water. Therefore, you'll continue to have the issue with the lava and the scum forming. To get rid of any permanent hardness, then, we use something called an iron exchange column. And I'll show you what that is now. An iron exchange column is a small column that is packed with tiny plastic beads made of a special resin, which is a type of polymer. Now, attached to this polymer, this resin, are very, very weakly attached sodium ions. Now, what happens as the magnesium and calcium ions are passed through is they swap places with the sodium ions. So the sodium ions take the place of the calcium and magnesium ions in the water. So you'll get sodium hydrogen carbonate and you'll get uh, sodium sulfate. And this softens the water. This allows for a lather to be made and reduces the hardness of the water completely.